I have, a, I have one more question. Bigla ko lang uh, If you would, if you could change one thing in the Miss Earth pageant system for the better, what would it be? Hmm. If I could change one thing in the Miss Earth pageant system, it would be honestly um not to restrict it per continent. I want okay. those who are um credible and who really did great performances to be up there. You don't have to limit it per continent. But what if you say there's just someone better to be up there, but because you limit the continent in Asia to only be four. So I want to eradicate that. I want the best contestants to be there who really worked hard and not just limited per continent. Mm, yeah. I think I know, I know. that's one thing now pageant fans don't really know about. Na. Mm-hmm. Hindi kasi inaanos ka finals, di ba? Na. These are the it's proportionate, each actually, each actually, right? uh, proportionate. It's proportionate, yeah. Actually, there are a lot of questions there because the fans will be like, why are you doing that? Why are you doing that? Why are you doing that? Because they limit it per continent, which is, I'm not very pro. Although, I get your point that you want to be equal, but then there's just someone better to be there compared mm-hmm. to just limiting it because you need someone from this continent to be up there. No. If you want it to be there, you just really have to do our, your part of you know, preparing. Kasi lahat kami naghihirap ng mag-prepare. That's Tapos true. hindi kong papasok dun. Kasi Just because of the limited spot. lang. Mm. Yeah. Yung, hindi ko masyadong gusto. I have one more question. Ang dami kong talong, no? Ito, <laughs> <laughs> uh, lagi, lagi namin itong tinatalong. Usually kapag may mga interview with uh, Miss Earth uh, winners from their respective countries, parang mm-hmm. national title holders. Um, Usually, uh, for some, they, they limit Miss Earth to just uh, a pageant where they plant trees for publicity. So, <laughs> okay. How will you defend, defend uh, Miss Earth from that uh, accusation or image? Okay. Actually, it's not true. We don't just simply plant trees. By the fact that we are being asked about um, question and answers during the close interview, it really mm. means that you really need to know about the country or the city that you are representing. So if you really don't know about that, um, you're not going to be in there. So we're not just simply there by planting trees. No, there's so much that Ms. Earth is doing. And they would really give you like environmental seminars for you to know. And during my time, if you can still remember when I won, um, I was asked um, in the Senate hearing to speak on um, um, under the Department of Finance. And wala pang gumagawa nan ever. I was the first one. So no one could help me. Ako lang talaga yung mm. So it, it's more than just planting trees. You you really capture so many people with the things that you say. Mm-hmm. It's not just about that. We do a lot of things. Yeah, I think Am- Amir has having technical problems. So he want, he he chatted me and wanted to ask. Um, kung meron uh merong mga girls na nanonood who who would want to uh. Uh, hindi pa silang ko-convince which pageant they want to join. National pageant. What advice would you give them? Oh, actually, I'm not going to be like, kasi gusto ko mag-miss earth ka. But I really want you to think, um, para saan ka? Kasi for me, kung malalaman mo kung para saan ka, like Pia, she really knew she wanted Miss Universe. So she really pursued it. You really have to understand what you wanted and what organization you want to fight for. Kasi kapag sumali ka ng maling pageant, hindi mo talaga siya makukuha. Kailangan mo kasi aralin yung competition, yung organization. So, if I were you, I would take this time to really re-evaluate myself of what I really want to do. Kasi it's more than, it, it's more than being popular. It's more than just winning a crown. It's what you're going to do after that. Hmm. Ang crown pa rin si Karen sa mga sagot. Sana i-adjust nila, i- nila yung, ano, yung Miss Universe na age limit. <laughs> because you know, if you join the Miss Universe you know, with your qualification and with your mm-hmm. resume, like iba na kasi ngayon eh, takbo ng Miss Universe. Eh. If you join the Miss yeah, Universe, yeah, iba iba na Baka manalo ka because they are. Nagtalong. Uh, they are actually. Nagtalong like sa like Instagram. It. Kung mm-hmm. interested ka daw bang sumali ng iba pang pageant. <laughs> ah, actually. Actually, no. Because I, one thing I, I, one thing I, what do you call this? I learned in this industry is to keep your loyalty. So I'll keep my loyalty to Mr. So no, I won't join mm. any competitions anymore. 
kasi gusto ko naman supportahan yung pangarap ng iba. So, mm-hmm. if you want to join, I'll help you in that field that you want. How old were you when you won this uh, no, Miss uh, Earth? Actually, sakto. Kasi during my time, 26 lang. So, uh-huh. nanalo ako, 26 years old. Kasi ngayon, uh-huh. minute nila so, lang yeah. 28 eh. Yeah. Hmm. 28 so, now, I, I won. 26, I won exactly um, yung age limit. So, sobrang sakto siya for me. Sobrang sakto. Even Miss Universe is 28 na rin eh. Yeah, they moved it. Hmm. So, in the next two, three, or five years, where where will Karen Ibasco be? Oh, I'm focusing more on my career in two, three, five years. Yeah. <laughs> I want to be completely established in that. Because sometimes, you know, you, after winning, you have to rebrand yourself. Mm-hmm. So, what is the next thing that you're going to do? So, before, you know, having a family, I want to establish my career before that. So, that's exactly what I'm going to do. Is it... Uh, yeah. Yeah physics related or more on the <laughs> beauty in- industry or image consulting na siya? Actually, um, I think it's still a combination of everything. Mm-hmm. Pero um, exactly na when I won, it's just so many opportunities are streaming in. Mm-hmm. And I couldn't say no because once you say no, it will never come again. You know, you mm-hmm. can never go back being young again. I can always go back in my teaching or in my hospital work. Mm-hmm. But I just want to maximize every opportunity coming my way. Any plans of going back to the academe? Uh, not anytime soon. Not okay. anytime soon. <laughs> so, pwede mo na kong balikan anytime, diba? Yeah. Kasi kapag academe din, kailangan mo talagang i-pursue yung PhD mo and you have to research consistently. Mm. Mm. Before I ask the final question, uh, I would like to read some uh, comments from our uh, fans. So someone from Instagram, it's at Ruiz underscore I am said, uh, a beautiful brain like yours will always crave for a challenge. Oh, nice. <laughs> so ano pa bang challenge? Na hinaha- no, no, uh, it's a, uh, a message for you. So kung uh, ang follow-up question ko doon is, uh, ano pang challenge yung hinahanap mo sa buhay? You've already won Miss, Miss Earth. Ano pa ba? Ano pang challenge yung kailangan mo hanapin? Actually, no. Um, for me, I don't look for challenge. It just simply comes your way. And you just uh-huh. really have to be prepared when it comes. I believe the challenge now is um, the next chapter. Like, what's next for you? Because I got the climax of my single life. I believe that after the next few years, I'm going to have a family. And I'm going to be established with my career. So the challenge just would be facing different people with different attributes and different goals. So you still need to always bring that image with you. And you never lose that. Because no matter what happens, you'll always see people with you. And people will always look at you and know your credential. You should never lo- lose your reputation. And here's another one. It's from uh, a, per- a person who's, uh, who's very close to you during your pageant journey. Uh, the message is from Kaylee Car- Carlberg, Miss U.S. Virgin Island. Yeah. During your time. And she said, uh, you're you're amazing, Karen, and one of the strongest people I know. You're a, you are truly a beautiful woman in a class act. You treat others with immense respect, no matter what they say about you. You're a real queen. You have stayed true to your advocacy. Super love, Kaylee. Thank you very much. But it's yan sobra. A real person. So before I ask the final question, Stephen or Amir, do you have? <laughs> Remaining questions in mind that you really want to ask Karen. I want to ask Karen regarding because kanina when I ask her about your plans from three or five years from now, okay, probably you want to have a family, you know. Hey, hello. <laughs> <laughs> no, she's cute. <laughs> uh, when having a family, of course you um, you're gonna get married. So I want to know if uh, what what is uh, what are the qualities you are looking for a future husband. Oh, that's good. Actually, I really want someone who's very family-oriented and who fears God because you really need someone who's so grounded and who plans ahead and who really understands that he needs to ask um, advices from other people. He needs to know it all. Mm-hmm. So it's important for you to um, understand that he will um, compliment you because you will not be perfect and you will compliment each other. So that's what I'm looking for. You think guys are, I asked this in a Mr. World 
um, interview last time. You think men will feel intimidated because you're such a, a an achiever, yes. <laughs> and you're very tall. Actually, when I met you um, last year, I noticed mm-hmm. that mong tangkang babaeng ito. I think that's yes. I can attest to that. Yeah, not too many, <laughs> not too many Filipino men are actually mm-hmm. like you know as uh, or taller than you because you know our yeah. average height is isn't really that uh, that tall. Yeah. Actually, to be honest, yes. I guess kapag lahat naman kaming one, I think may ganong stigma na parang, mm-hmm. ay, you get intimidated. But as you see, I'm, we're normal people just like you guys. We're normal people. We eat everything that you eat. Mm-hmm. We do whatever you guys do. <laughs> ano nagpapakilig sa'yo, ano, Karen? <laughs> Kailan ka uh, nagpapakilig? <laughs> actually, I love, ano, I love uh, when that person makes me laugh. I love it. Uh-huh. Kasi hindi ako my sense of humor like other people. So I love that. Mm-hmm. When that person makes me laugh. Lalambing-lambing ka rin ba ng mga student-athlete? <laughs> Actually, yung iba. Oo. So, ako yung so we make ng distance, to be honest. May mm. mga students na gano'n. May mga gano'n. Kailangan kasi... Oh, mga pulero, mga UST. <laughs> Actually, I think Amir has a question pa. Amir, may tatanong ka. You can actually send us the question, Amir, if you're having a hard time with the connection. So ask na yung final question. So this question, uh, we, we ask this sa lahat ng interview. So aside from being the first scientist to win Miss Earth, how do you want people to remember Karen Ibasco? Oh, I want to remember them as the person who set the bar high, who continually changed the way people see beauty pageants, that you can really use this to share a great message to people, and you will continue that even after your reign. Oh, thank you, Karen. Perfect. You're welcome. Asoksa 20 seconds. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Yeah. And before we wrap up, uh, let's just acknowledge some of your Indonesian fans. Oh, Ang dami nilang yeah. nag-message at, at, at nag-comment. Yeah. Nakakatuwa nga. Parang, parang Indonesian ako eh. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, you would, you would pass for an Indonesian if you go there because they also have a hu- big, a huge um, Chinese population. Actually, no. To be honest. Actually, it, it's really my aim to go to Indonesia. After, after this, mm. can I just grab your cases in Indonesia? <laughs> but uh, I would love yeah. to go there. Yeah. And they are very serious with the Miss Earth organization, yung Miss Earth Indonesia. Like, med, ano talaga sila eh. Yeah. They're really into it. You know, they don't place, but they remain loyal and they can still continue with the, with the advocacy of the Miss Earth organization. Sabi ko nga, sabi ko, uh, hopefully one, uh, one year, I would see an Indonesian winner in Miss Earth also. Para it, it's everybody's game, di ba? Hmm. Yeah. Thank you, Karen, again for uh, joining us. Yeah, I know you're going to have another interview later on, so thank you so much for your <laughs> yeah. time. Salamat. We're looking forward for that interview. Live yun, di ba? Later on. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, yeah, but we are going to delay this one. We're going to publish this later on after na siguro your, uh, your yeah. live. It's okay. No worries. Sorry. But all the best to you. Thank you. Keep safe. Okay, then keep safe during this pandemic. Bye! Thank you. Bye.